Hello everybody, Faisal Talpur here. Hope you're all keeping well. Um, can entrepreneurship be taught uh, or not? Is the question today. Um, I am, uh, I get myself involved in these discussions more often than not. I'll be very honest with you. So I have uh, friends, family, um, clients, uh, you know, in different gatherings, um, everywhere people uh, would like to know uh, my opinion on whether entrepreneurship is something that can be taught or it's something that you're born with. So uh, this is my opinion and I'm going to tell you why I have uh, managed to develop my opinion, right? Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's one of those things where you are not born with anything. This is my understanding, right? Of course, you have got a certain personality, you have got certain behavior, um, you have got certain mannerisms, and that's what, you know, gives you the construct. That's what makes you you, right? Um, but my understanding is that, you know, entrepreneurship is a combination of an art and a skill, right? Um, uh, and of course, you know, uh, uh, some aspects of science are involved in it as well. And all these things, you know, a skill, an art, science, all these things can actually be taught. So it's, it's almost the same as if I was to say, you know, were you born with any language? No, you were not, right? Uh, you, the first thing you probably started to do was adapt uh, or listen to or start speaking in the language that your parents spoke, right? Um, so this is one thing. Another thing, another example is you were not born a car driver or, uh, you know, a pilot, right? Um, or, a, or, or a ship captain, you know, you learn the skill to drive these vehicles, okay? Um, so from my aspect, the, the, one of the reasons I personally also believe in this is because I do not come from uh, a business background, right? Uh, none of my forefathers were in business. We are landlords, right? Uh, perhaps there's some very small little aspect of business in it. Uh, but, you know, they, that is not really considered a proper business. So uh, I do not come from any business background. I was not taught any business. I never got any business education, right? My academics are in computer science. Uh, and I taught myself business from scratch, literally buying magazines from you know, uh, from from shops, right? And then going on the internet to learn exactly how business should be done. And then, of course, a lot of it was not just learning. A lot of it was experimentation. A lot of it was, you know, uh, trying to find my ground, ground, trying to figure things out myself, right? So from my point of view, entrepreneurship is something that you can grow into. You can adapt. You can, uh, you know, learn, right? You can learn and you can certainly um, get good with it. Just just like any skill. I mean, you know, listen, no baseball player uh, or no cricket player for that matter was born a baseball player or a cricket player, right? Um, they got into it uh, and then they became very good with it. Now, this is where the aspect of good and not good comes into. So any 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 such thing so say for example whether it's a game uh, or it's uh, it's uh, you know learning to drive a vehicle right or learning to uh, perhaps uh, do business right so you have got let's take the vehicle example so you have got people who are the formula one drivers right um, some may say it comes to them naturally right uh, because and that's where they excel at it don't get me wrong they've gone through rigorous training they've gone through a lot of things uh, you know uh, to make sure that you know they become the formula driver as compared to just somebody who's driving on the road okay um, so basically uh, it's 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 just one of those things whereby you have to make sure that you know you are whether that is something that comes to you naturally or it doesn't come to you naturally um, when it comes to business, the only aspect I personally think uh, which perhaps cannot be taught and comes naturally is the daredevil aspect, which is the taking risk aspect, right? 
uh, that I personally think is the only thing which is natural. Uh, it is part of your nature. It's part of your DNA. So you may, uh, you know, from my point of view, you know, I was not always a risk taker and I became a risk taker. So in my, in my, in my world, I actually taught that to myself as well. But a lot of people don't want to be doing that. That is the only thing I think uh, which uh, is not necessarily that you can perhaps, you know, get somebody to learn right but other than that everything else it's nothing but skill set right it's all knowing what you would know tomorrow what that what, you know what you do not know today right so what makes you learn and become an entrepreneur or a businessman tomorrow or a businesswoman tomorrow right uh, is what you do not know today right and naturally we are scared of things that we do not know so this is my point three uh, in terms of entrepreneurship can be taught right anything that you start to learn and you start to move towards starts to become easy right and when it starts to become easy it then starts to become or come naturally into your life you can literally start doing it without thinking too much about it and when it becomes part of your system right that's when the boldness starts to come out as well okay so you know from my point of view um if you any listen anything once again i repeat anything that you do not know today so say for example if you do not know how to drive today uh even the thought of you sitting behind the wheel of a car is going to freak you out uh for example i know how to drive but i don't know how to fly a plane OK, um, if I was to uh, ask if I if I'm asked to become a pilot, right, it's going to freak me out. Right. Uh, but there are millions of pilots out there. Right. Uh, and I'm sure I can become one if I if I really want to become one. So from my point of view, anything and everything about entrepreneurship can be taught. OK, um, and it should not deter you. It should not. Uh, you know, I have I, I get a lot of people, they say, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I am not built that way. And I'm, I'm like, OK, so what does that even mean? You're not built that way. You know, if you're an accountant, were you born an accountant? If you're a solicitor, were you born solicitor? Of course not. Right. Uh, you know, you, you, you train yourself. You, you learn your way. You stepped into that world of becoming a solicitor, going through this whole rigorous process of doing certain things. So that's exactly the point of becoming an entrepreneur. There, that is it is no it is no different. I hope I have uh, uh, put my point across. Uh, so this is my take on it, uh, which is why we actually train entrepreneurs over here at the Entrepreneur Maker Program. Uh, so I hope this has made some sense. Uh, once again, Faisal Tarpur, adios.